another very important, um, it, in fact, it was a mayoral minute that I put forward, and it was in tune with the rest of local government right throughout New South Wales, we're calling action to both state and federal governments to come forward with a package to support local government through the coronavirus. We are, as I said, a large employer and we offer very essential services to our community that are critical. But our costs are quite high and our revenue is, is certainly falling. We, we have uh, the places like the pool, the library, the civic, so many of our uh, infrastructure uh, places that we would normally earn some income that are actually closed at this point in time. But yet our essential services still need to be supplied and delivered for our community and we intend to continue to do that. What we're calling is the state and federal governments to come forward with a package to help local government. In fact, local government right throughout New South Wales are calling uh, together. So we are quite united in this approach. And there are three main things that we're calling for there, but they're all focused on more income, more support for local government, so we can continue to employ the people, the nearly 200 people that are employed by the Gunnedah Shire Council, and make sure we deliver those essential services to the full capacity and the standard that you're used to uh, through this pandemic. Also, I, I want to make note too of Council's efforts to, as I said, keep things business as usual to the best of our ability. We are still continuing on with our very large capital works program, more than $28 million worth of uh, projects throughout our community that will continue. And you see those as you look around our community, whether they be roadworks, uh, roundabouts, so many different projects that are still happening out there. And also remember the $3.2 million community resilience program that is starting to be rolled out now, which was Council's action um, when we were looking at the last three years of drought. And we were, uh, I guess, one of the very few in the local government world to come forward and put a package out there that was supported by state and federal government. So that $3.2 million, uh, many of those who have applied for that, those funds are hearing um, about their level of success and working with council. So we'll start to see some of those projects be delivered soon.